Hello everyone, welcome to this next video on complex analysis. Here, this question is from December 2014 and it is of 3 marks. And uh, the question says, if k be the given positive integer, then the radius of convergence of the power series, this is the given power series, and they are asking, the radius of convergence is equivalent to which of the following four options. So out of these four, what is the radius of convergence for this given series? So here, let us denote the radius of convergence by the letter capital R. And uh, in this power series, we can write it in this form. N varies from 0 to infinity. A n z minus 0 raised to power n. So the power series is about the point 0. And this is the coefficient term. So what is a, a n? A n in this case is n factorial raised to power k divided by k n whole factorial. So this is the given information to us. So in order to calculate this radius of convergence, we uh, we could have a look at this result uh, of uh, by Cauchy's, namely the Cauchy's theorem. So they are saying if we have the power series something of this form, then the radius of convergence is given by either of these two formulas. So first is using the root test. Uh, we can calculate this radius of convergence and second is using this ratio test the radius of convergence r is given using this formula so uh, here in this uh, in order to solve this question we can use any one of these formulas but as for now i am using the second formula given over here so what is our an an is this one right so what would be our an plus 1 it would simply be n plus 1 whole factorial raised to power k divided by k as such k is positive integer so it would be as such n plus 1 whole factorial so this is given to us so now let us calculate uh, the uh, radius of convergence using this second formula so the radius in order to calculate this radius of convergence let us uh, solve this thing so we would be solving limit n goes to infinity mod of a n plus 1 divided by a n. So we would have something like this limit n goes to infinity. What is a n plus 1? It is n plus 1 factorial raised to power k divided by k into n plus 1 whole factorial, right? And multiplied by this thing will invert itself. So you will be having k n factorial divided by n factorial raised to power k. So now uh, we have to uh, simplify this term and calculate the limit. So let us do that. Limit n goes to infinity as such. So now we can write n plus 1 factorial as n plus 1 into n factorial. No problem in doing that. So we have n plus 1 into n factorial whole power k. Right. Similarly, here we have kn plus k, so kn plus k factorial, this term is equivalent to this term and you can write this term to be kn plus k into kn plus k minus 1 and up to kn plus 1 into kn factorial, right? No problem in doing this also. So let us use these two results over here to simplify the relation. So we will be having kn plus k up to kn plus 1 into kn factorial. This is the first term and the second term over here would come as such. So now can you see this term over here cancels with this term and the, this term cancels with this term. So we are only left with limit n goes to infinity n plus 1 raised to power k divided by kn plus k up to kn plus 1. So this is what we are left with. Now in order to calculate this limit that is substitute n go, going to infinity, we will convert this form to 1 by n. That means what we do? We take n common from here. So we will be having n raised to power k common. So we are left only with 1 plus 1 by 
n raised to power k and similarly if you take n common from each of these terms we will be having having n raised to power k why because uh, the power is k here because these are total k terms so from each the of these k terms you will take n common so we will be having n into n into n how many times k times so n power k and we will be left with k plus k by n up to k plus 1 by n so now we can uh, substitute this limit n going to infinity in these so we'll only be left with so obviously this terms cancels with this one so now you can substitute the limit n goes in going to infinity so when you substitute the limit over here this term would become zero this term would become zero and this term would become zero so we'll be left with one raised to power k divided by k into k into k how many times k times because they were total k terms so these were total k terms so we are left with 1 upon k raised to power k so our radius of convergence one uh, the formula was 1 upon r is equal to this thing so obviously the radius of convergence comes out to be k raised to power k for the current case so let us have a look at our options so accordingly option 3 comes out to be the correct option well that is it for this video thank you for watching